guys and welcome back to my youtube channel so the palace have responded to megan and harry's statements their interviews their everything and this is what they had to say the whole family is saddened to learn the full extent of how challenging the last few years have been for harry and megan the issues raised particularly that of race are concerning while some recollections may vary they are taken very seriously and will be addressed by the family privately harry and megan will always be much loved family members so that's it <laughs> nothing more to read uh they did a whole two hour interview and we got uh three three sentences guys three only three um realistically speaking what more do we expect they never really address anything on any type of platform they don't get involved in things like even think about it because i was speaking to my sister and I realized when BLM was happening hardcore, they didn't say pimp. They didn't say nada, not, not, they didn't say nothing, zilch. They were quiet. They've been quiet on so many big issues. It's not surprising that they're quiet now again. Of course, who is actually going to outright admit to, you know what I mean, prejudice against race? Nobody, <laughs> nobody. I don't expect anyone to really do that, especially at their level. I think to show that they cared more, they should have wrote more even this whole idea of they're sad in that they know they learn the full extent you see the way they use the word full extent and so that lets us know there was some extent they knew but they tried to push it off as small irrelevant not a big deal you know we just get on with it we're all going through it so now they're saying full extent as if to be like megan and harry weren't clear enough i don't like that maybe i'm reading into this a little, a little bit too much but realistically speaking i don't have to tell you 10 times over that i've got a problem if i say i have a problem and i need help one time you, you don't everything else you don't need to know everything so i feel like that's insane and i feel like that's a bit that's that's a waffle i believe harry when he said he told um the the what do they call them the firm or whatever he called them um or the institution sorry he called them um and told him about let's please protect megan more when she was his girlfriend when she was his fiance and now as his wife and child's mother so realistically speaking i don't believe it and i also thoroughly believe that megan asked for help this many times i i i, I, I honestly believe that and then of course they're going to mention the race thing because that's the biggest thing we know that there's a standard and there's a structure and there's a there's customs and all that blah 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 but for race to be an issue especially in this day and age of course they're going to be like that's concerning but what what can i take your concern to the bank what is your concern doing for me like they need to do what, what what's what's going to happen from this and it's cheeky for them to say that while some recollections may vary they're going to be taken seriously you see this is the problem here yeah when it comes to things specifically about race the person that is the non the the the, the person that's the perpetrator not even an intentional one but the person that's causing the problem doesn't really have a lot of weight to be discussing how that person should or feel it could still even if that's not the intention it's the way it felt it's the you know what i mean it's the way it came across so recollections varying and all that malarkey you, you guys are not willing to take on the chin that that's how it felt you're not in her shoes you're not in our shoes you're not in my shoes so you may not fully understand but i don't need your recollection to be different to mine i need you to empathize with me and apologize and take accountability that's it and then they finally wrap it off to say that they're going to address the issue privately which basically means they're not going to address it at all in my opinion because everything Harry and Meghan said in this interview, I'm sure was told to them personally. And only now that they've aired out the dirty laundry, now it's going to be dealt with. No, if anything, people are going to be more angry. Like what Piers Morgan said, um, Harry might, I mean, not Harry, William might be more upset because now Meghan talks about Kate. She never spoke, spoke about her in any derogatory way, in my personal opinion, but that's what they're saying so that's that and then what else um again Ch him and charles's relationship is already like rocky so i don't know how exposing them would <laughs> improve it and i don't believe that uh, it will be dealt with privately and if it is we will never know if i'm honest we won't know um 
because again that's not information that they're going to disclose um, i'm sure the press i'm sure like the daily mirror and the daily mail and all those absolute rubbish trash publications will be posting tomorrow or the next day or some weeks oh yeah it's all smiles in the in the in the in buckingham palace everyone's friendly people are coming around for dinner when no one's even left their house like it's insane. Oh my gosh, I just got breaking news. Co-presenter Pierce Morgan Tilly, Good Morning Program, following Meghan Markle interview. Oh my gosh, guys. Literally, that's, this just came into my phone just now. That is insane. Oh my, I guess the heat got too hot. He had to leave the kitchen. Guys, this is a lot. That happened so quickly, I'm even shocked. Like, my sister's screaming in the background. I'm sure she's calling me. But... This is insane, guys, and it is what it is. Sometimes, you know what I mean, your actions have consequences. Do I maybe think he needed to leave, lose his job? Mm, I don't know, but for him, he took it too far with this one, and sometimes sorry isn't enough, and he hasn't even said sorry. He hasn't even said sorry. So now all this anger that he was doing, all this talking, he thought he was invincible. Now he's realised he's a mere mortal like the rest of us, because trust and believe, it was if it was another person, they would have been sacked so guys what the actual like crazy 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 but thank you for listening to this video please continue to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye